All right, welcome back to another math video. Today we are continuing on our section on quadrilaterals. Last week, or the video before, whenever I uploaded that one, we did parallelograms, and today we are jumping on to squares. So like before the last video, this one's going to be not as sophisticated. Or, uh, it's going to be much quicker, and I'm just going to go over the key properties of specific quadrilateral. Right, so a square has a couple properties. The first property of a square is all sides and angles are congruent. If you notice on a square, which makes this unique compared to a rectangle, is that all the sides are the same. So this side is the same length as this one, this one, and this one. And the angles are the same because obviously all the angles of a square are right angles and they're all 90 degrees. Next, opposite sides are parallel. As you can see, just like a rectangle, this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side. It's pretty straightforward. Diagonals are congruent. Since the sides are the same, the diagonal length themselves these two diagonals are the same length, so they are congruent as well. The diagonals have another property too. They're both perpendicular and they bisect each other. So where they cross, they actually form, this is supposed to be a right angle. So where they cross here in the middle, these are all, they form all right angles. So they are perpendicular to each other. And they also bisect each other. So that means from this point to the center point, or to that vertice to the center. It's the same length as this point to the end. And these two are the same as well. And hopefully you realize that this is a parallelogram. All the properties of a parallelogram are the same properties of a square. A square is a special type of a parallelogram. It just has a couple specific properties that makes it stand out. And the last special property of a square is that they are also Consider a rectangle and a rhombus. They meet the properties of those special quadrilaterals as well. So a square is a special case indeed. And sometimes it can be kind of confusing, but stick to these properties, stick to these facts, and you should be able to distinguish a square. Hopefully this quick lesson on the properties of a square helped. The next video I'm going to tackle will most likely be the rectangle. Until then, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.